delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, welcome to Sunday's Omelet with Chef Pachi. I hope you went today to the market and found the most beautiful vegetables directly from the farmer. In any case, if you didn't and you just bought your vegetables, you're still gonna be able to make this perfect Sunday omelette. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice in our mandolin some vegetables. And I sliced an onion, a bell pepper, I had some mushrooms, I also had some fresh asparagus and some fresh hearts of palm. This black container is especially for grills, so you can do that outdoors now that the summer's beautiful and out there for everyone. We're gonna place our vegetables there and then we're gonna add some olive oil, some salt, and a little bit of rosemary sprays. And that's because I have rosemary growing in my garden, but if you have any other herb, just use that one. Herbs that are fresh are gonna flavor deliciously your vegetables. You just place them in the pan and cook them on the grill or bake them. With these delicious flavors, you'll have enough vegetables to create eggs for the whole week. That way, you can add veggies to eggs. And some days you can add like onions and tomatoes. The other day you can add mushrooms and you can change and vary each day. Just keep them tightly closed in the refrigerator for the first three days. And if you want to use them for the last three days, freeze them in very small containers. Then separate them. We bake them at 300 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. And then they are partly cooked. Remember to always put them in a preheated oven or a preheated grill. And they will be delicious. If you grill them, believe me, you're gonna wanna turn on that grill every single Sunday. Now I'm placing them in different containers that I'm gonna wrap tightly and refrigerate whatever I don't use. I am using three eggs and I'm using only one yolk because I want to show you in case you don't want to have that many yolks and eggs how you take out the yolks from the mix. If your eggs are not organic, remove two of the yolks. If they are, the yolk is perfect and it's going to be a great antioxidant. If you don't want that extra fat, just remove it, no problem. We're adding a little bit of milk and it can also be non-dairy. Then we're gonna place some of our hot vegetables straight on our plate. But if we bring them from the fridge, we can just cook them all in the pan and then plate them. You can reheat them in a small baking sheet over some spoil and even in a toaster oven. Now we're using a non-stick pan and we're placing our eggs there. If you have a regular pan that is not non-stick, add a little bit of oil. Then we cook it at medium high temperature and as soon as the eggs begin to coagulate, we are gonna push them into the center. This creates a fluffy and delicious omelet that you are gonna love. It is super tender and that way all those eggs cook without getting dry. Now that we have our eggs almost cooked, we are gonna add the vegetables. Remember your vegetables already had a little bit of salt, pepper, and rosemary, so they were delicious to begin with. Already flavored, we've added mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers. And on the plate, we've added some more vegetables. You can choose the vegetable you want to add every day. Just choose the ones that you feel like having. Touch the outside of the omelet and check that all of the egg white is cooked. Once it's cooked, just pour it on top of the plate and then you just fold it in half and your omelette is perfect and beautiful. If your vegetables are cold, cover the pan and cook for a couple of minutes. This will make all your vegetables warm and you won't be having cold vegetables with eggs. You'll be having 
delicious vegetables. If you roast them on the barbecue, you'll have delicious roasted style vegetables with your eggs. This way, you can have vegetables during breakfast. It is a delicious way to enjoy vegetables in every single meal. So I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, with Shepachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Enjoy! Scroll down for the recipe. You can print it. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.